away this afternoon to visit a friend who is having a boat christening. Uh, this boat is really, really uh, a one-of-a-kind boat. It's a 1939 century, I believe it is. And uh, the, one of the guys that I, I used to do some business with, him and his son have been restoring this boat for almost two years, and they've made it to the original specs. Uh, the motor, every board, every piece has been restored to its original condition. And literally, this is a one-of-a-kind boat. There's no others like it that they've been able to document. And there, oh, there's turkeys here. I'm sorry, but I gotta show these turkeys. Every morning that I go to work, there's turkeys by the side of the road here. Look at them all. There's got to be... There's nobody else around here. I can do this. Look at them. Now they're moving. All kinds of turkeys. <laughs> Sorry. I'm kind of a nature buff. So they're going to mount it up to the travel lift. Hook it on the boat, the harnesses there. We'll go underneath the boat. We'll pick up the relic and then set it into the water. <laughs> Just go for it, Barb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 there. Oh, my God. Come on, Jackie. It's frozen. That's how you do it. <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> now who has a broom? Jackie has to clean it up. That's what I wanted to hear. Another beautiful day. Well, a beautiful day with less than desirable weather anyway. I am headed to the roller rink and I guess I just wanted to say something beforehand because it's not like I'm going to be able to talk while I'm there. If there is any footage of me, I'm hoping to explain why I might look like such a weirdo. A year and a half ago, I trained with our local roller derby league. And yes, before we get the comments and questions, most people say I don't look like the type of person to play roller derby, but there are all different types playing, and part of the reason that I wanted to play in the first place was because it was a very out of the box moment. When you train with roller derby, you train to fall on your um, hands and knees because that's the safest way to fall. You have pads in both of those locations and if you fall on your hands and knees, it really doesn't hurt. If you fall anywhere else, it hurts immensely. Once you've trained to fall on your hands and knees, you don't necessarily want to go back to skating without pads because you do it without thinking. I am going to wear at least my wrist guards and my knee pads. There they are!
cakes at the birthday parties and I cannot, there's so much smoke, I cannot even believe that the sprinklers don't go off. I saw some things at the roller rink that I've never seen before today, but it was a good time, so gotta get out there and try it. Rent the quads. You're gonna love it. Did you see Alex on skates? This is his first time back in quite a while and I was very impressed that he had retained so many skills. Flakes just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Wow. Do you love living in Wisconsin? It's too lovely. Do you love living in Wisconsin or not? No. Everyone knows that. How did you know I was filming you, silly? Let me roll over. You can see my good side. Mm-mm-mm. 